All right, we have here a 2015 Toyota Camry Hybrid. Customer complaint was, literally there's a lot of lights on on the dash, that's all I got. So I asked him which lights, he said he doesn't know. So I just scanned it and there's very little power steering. I mean, it's there, just not good. And the code I'm getting in all the modules is lost con with ABS module and I have no communication with the ABS module. So that's where I'm holding. I just did a visual inspection. I couldn't actually see the module. So I checked the fuses that set on the chart, but I'm about to look at a diagram. Everything's just lost con with ABS and we have no con with ABS. Now in the ECM is also camshaft position A timing over retarded, but I'll deal with that later. Um, I first want to get all these other lights off. Let's get a diagram for this car. Okay, let's find the diagram. So we'll go to nano E, anti-lock brakes, hybrid. All right, what do we have? So here's the skid control ECU with actuator brake booster with master, symbol, sem, master cylinder assembly. It's like the whole unit, everything together. So this is not communicating. So let's see what powers are. We have an ignition two power right here. Ignition one. Then we have this ABS motor fuse that's in the, it's like a link with a bunch of fuses in it. Two of those, an ABS two fuse and ABS one fuse. So we got, those are all hot at all times. Yeah, both ABS one and two are hot at all times. The big guys are, the big ones are also hot at all times. And then these are just two ignition fuses. That's a lot of powers for one module. Then we got grounds here, a bunch of grounds. And they all ground on A3. And there's another ground here. And that grounds left front of engine compartment, A2, okay. And then we got can high, can low. All right, let's see what else this feeds. So right here, So instrument panel junction box, left end of the dash. There's two fuses. Now this one also feeds something else. It feeds the engine room RB2 stop relay. Okay, I have no idea if we have that, so that's not gonna help me. Um, all right, let's check these two fuses. I already checked the ones under the hood before because I just read the fuse box cover. And anything that said ABS I checked and they were all good. So we'll check these two fuses right now. ECU ignition one and ECU ignition two in the the one underneath the dash. Just making sure I check. ABS number two I checked. I don't remember seeing ABS number one. That's why I'm looking again. Oh, it's it's a big one, yeah. Okay, I like the original selection. They were all good. All right, we'll go here. Ah, it's missing the cover. I gotta go find the fuse box cover diagram. Oh, there it is, I see it on the floor. All right. What was it again? It was ECU ignition two and ECU ignition one. ECU. Two seven and a half. Yep, well, on the diagram it shows a ten, but yeah, over here it's showing two seven and a half. Okay. Alright, let's ground this here. Make sure we have a good ground. Just hit any fuse. Or a few of them. See if anything lights up. Alright, this lights up so we know we have a good ground. Then we're starting from this side. The two seven and a half right here. All right, they're both good. All right, let's go see if I can find this module. So I think it's behind here. I'm gonna have to pull this out. I just see right over here with a visual inspection that this thing is broken. You know, would this cause it not to communicate? I don't know, I've seen on many Camrys, I'm not so familiar with the hybrids, but on many Camrys these are broken and they don't cause any issues whatsoever. Um, let's see, is it ground the dungeon?
That is. That is. So I'm assuming it is grounded. Unless it's chassis grounded, it is not. All right, but it's lighting a test light, so. Here's more grounds. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to pull this out. Okay, let's see. Could we get in now? I think the only way to do this is pull the whole thing off, and I don't like doing that. I'm gonna jump this ground just to be sure. It doesn't fix anything. All right, I'm just gonna jump this ground to this ground. No, it's still no calm. I have to get down to this module. I don't see another way. All right, here goes. We'll try to take it off quickly. Was easier than expected. And I can see the connector. All right, so there's no way to do this without doing this. So, okay, here is the connector. I have this cover off, it looks like. And I can do all my checks with the thing plugged in. Okay, let's see. So, one, two, 28 and 29 are the four big ones. Let's see, are those all, okay, one, two. And then 28 and 29 are grounds, perfect. 
one two are the two main powers so we'll check that all right so the top two are powers and the bottom two are grounds actually yeah all right we got one power that's for sure good and two powers that are good and now we gotta just check the other ground all right the two big rounds are good okay now let's see what are the 15 and 28 what are those 15 is a power ignition power and 28 is a ground okay perfect so we'll go across both of these now this is only only going to be ignition on so we'll back probe it Actually, is the ignition on? I thought the ignition was off. The ignition is off. Am I wrong? I'm looking at the wrong fuse. What is this? I'm on 20, uh, 15. Oh, sorry, had it all times. So now let's check the other one. The other one is 14. So it's one over. Is it a pink? Let me just make sure because I don't want to ground anything out. Yeah, pink wire, perfect. That one's good. So we have four powers that are good so far. Now we have to check the ignition ones. The ignition is pin 16 and 12. 16 is one down from this side. This one right here. Let's turn the ignition on. All right, so it is on. Is the light on? Yes. Okay. That's one, and then we have another one. 12. Okay, 12's on the other side, three in. Also a light blue. Okay, and 12 has power. So we got all the powers we need. We have to check. There's a few more grounds, which I doubt would make it not communicate if we already have all the big ones. But I'm assuming all these white and blacks are right here, our grounds. So let's go into this power. Okay, let's go check all these white and blacks. Or they're all grounding pretty much to the same point, so we'll just check. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right, so all the white and blacks are good. Power around is definitely good. Now, what else do we have to see? We have to see the cam lights. Let me get my scope. Where's this? That right, right around this right here. Okay, five and six from that side. All right, I can't back probe this. I'm gonna have to just pierce them right here. All right. So this is can high. Let's go in seconds. Let's just make it drop fast as so we see more on the screen. Less. All right, that's a good can high. Let's go to the white wire. And there we got a good can low. All right, so this thing is not responding. Now, the only thing I have to do is make sure I got to unplug this and make sure this thing stays. 
so that we know that it's coming from the other modules and it's not from this module and there's a broken wire upstream. I think this just slides out. Yep, perfect. And there we go. I'm disconnected and I still have a good can network. Telling me that this module is bad. I got all the power grounds I need for it and it just won't communicate. Now we do the scientific thing and we bang on it. And now we go see if it communicates. All right, let's go out. Smart detection. Nah, so let's power it off once. Let's go fully out sometimes. It makes a difference. Now I'm not hopeful, but at least I can give them the conclusive answer that it needs a module. Yeah, it still doesn't communicate. Just make sure because one time I had on a Nissan, a hybrid, where it wouldn't communicate unless I clicked on the module after. So I'm just going to do that to be thorough, but I'm pretty sure that, pretty sure we solved the same problem and it's just a dead module. Let me try to go into it. Nope, okay. Um, I'm probably not gonna have a follow up on this because this mobile guy, he's never able to take a video for me, it never works out, so, and I'm probably not gonna be here. But I'm gonna tell him to replace that module. You could either buy it probably as a whole assembly from a junkyard, or most likely you could just change the actual module that's screwed in onto the side. Probably get it from the junkyard. And Toyotas are really good with used modules. Um, you probably have to run like a programming sequence, like a bleeding, and that should take care of most of the lights besides the main lights, besides for the engine lights, which I am not dealing with now. I'm just gonna actually clear all these codes. They'll probably come right back because, you know, um, the, the ECM codes probably won't, but everything else will because the minute I recycle the ignition, it's going to see there's no comp to it. Watch, I'll show you. Do it again. Oh, less it pop back on, back out, smart detection. I'm only doing it because it's fast game, so it doesn't take long. But yeah, all the codes came back. Alright, so that's it. This thing needs a module. Thanks for watching.